tag is inspired by a true story, and I just wondered when it first came to you, did you immediately see sort of cinematic potential in it? Well, when I, I, when I first got the scripts, I refused to read it, because I was like, how is this a movie? Um, uh, and, then I, and then I did, and I thought no, not only is it really fun and super silly and, and, and funny, but, um, but I didn't expect it to have so much heart and be so deeply about these guys' friendship. And I had sort of forgotten about the original Wall Street Journal story when I read it. And, um, but, but it is sort of magical that, that a game this ch childish has turned into this great magic trick for their connection. Um, and, uh, and I actually read it when I was on this trip that I usually I go on with my friends up to uh, Lake in Canada in a cabin. It was the first year that none of them could come and uh, because one had just had twins, one of his brother just had a heart attack and he needed to support him and other parents were ill. And, and uh, so I was just there with my family, which was great. But um, I missed them and then reading the script, I was, it, it really hit me how important they were to my life and I really wanted to make the movie kind of as a love letter to the real guys as much as them. Because yeah, I know they visited the set, didn't they? The real yeah. guys that inspired the story. Um, yeah. What kind of input did they have like talking to you about? The real guys are so such sweet guys. They're just wonderful people, and um, yeah, they came down and they. I remember they were watching the scene, which was um, a completely ridiculous scene with all the guys, and they were laughing at the monitors. and And one of the most rewarding moments of making it was going over there to them after we cut and saying, "How do you guys feel? What do you think?" And they're like, "This is exactly us." and you know, you never know when you're making a movie about real people. You have to fictionalize so much to fit it into 90 minutes and to give it a quick story that if you're being responsible and honoring them in the right way. But they were so happy and they really felt like we captured something, some spark, some spirit of them. So that was so nice. And what about creating the look for the tag sort of chase sequences? Yeah. It's so dynamic. I love the slow motion. and kind of feels like you're referencing different genres with them. Yeah, yeah well, I, the thing about sh shooting people playing tag is it's pretty boring. <laughs> you do it just like that, it's, that that's it. Um, but I really wanted like, I wanted those action sequences, those tag sequences to represent the like preeminent importance of the game to these guys and their lives. Like, this is, what's at stake really isn't who's it, it's who who is your friend at the end of the day. Um, so it's, the stakes are as big as, as saving the world in the superhero movie to these guys in those moments. So I you know, wanted to jump in their heads and uh, let the audience see them as they see themselves when they're playing <clears throat> and really feel those big stakes um, and just get cartoonish and silly with them. And so when we were working, we, we kind of like, okay, what what big action movies do we love? And I love Guy Ritchie and I also love horror movies and, and I love... Predator, and so we started to kind of, and I love old action, Walter Hill action comedies in the 80s, so we're kind of like assigning the tone of those those movies to each character and how they would see themselves and, 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 and become superhuman in their own ways. Um, and, uh, you know, it was just the help of the DP who's shot so many action movies and, and the stunt coordinator who's brilliant, figuring out how to make that tone. So you could be kind of silly and almost like Wile E. Coyote cartoon with it, but then come back to reality at the end. Yeah. And the music is another element that I really enjoyed in the uh, movie. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? And without giving too much away, we do get to hear a bit of Jeremy Renner speaking, <laughs> uh, singing rather. So maybe <laughs> tell us how, you, uh, how that came about. Well, you know, the characters, are, the characters are supposed to be around 43 in the movie, even though they're all in life, they're all different ages. But um, so I tried to, there's a lot of, old pop songs in the movie. Uh, I can't remember how many, but there's a ton of old music in the movie, and I, it's all, with the exception of maybe one or two songs from their period in high school. So, first of all, I wanted it to be songs like that I fell in love with as a kid and, and give me that feeling of nostalgia for the early 90s, late 80s, and but also realistically what they would have loved as they were growing up, and then specifically like, during that four years, 89 to 93, what would they have been listening to? So it's all kind of in that window as you listen through the movie. And yeah, and then there's a, there's a special surprise at the end um, where one of those songs is reprised. 
<laughs> yes, yeah, so stay for the end credits. <laughs> yeah, stay for the end credits. Yeah, thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!